Hello my friends, I am so excited to share with you all today this fun little family field trip that we took over to Pittsburgh during winter break. Anytime we go to Pittsburgh, we like to stay in this particular hotel in Neville Island. We are kind of a little bit attached to it because this was like the first hotel that Sean and I went to on our way to our honeymoon. So we planned this trip so that the kids could have a nice day and just enjoy the hotel and go swimming for a little bit. And then the day after that, we got up nice and relaxed and early and we headed into the city to go see Pittsburgh's Carnegie Museum of Natural History. This was a trip that we had been looking forward to since the beginning of this homeschooling year because Noah has been learning about ancient civilizations and we had been going really deep into ancient Egypt because I personally am a big fan so we had been watching some documentaries and learning about some artifacts so Noah was really looking forward to seeing some Egyptian artifacts in this trip. What does it smell like? This has always been one of my favorite parts of this museum and is that you can see the archaeologists actually working on different fossils. And this time they were working on that blue looking dinosaur and on a mastodon. So it was just really, really cool to get to see all this stuff in action. Then we headed into Sean and Noah's favorite Hillman Hall of Minerals and Gems. These guys honestly could just spend the entire day in this particular place. They are absolutely obsessed with this kind of stuff. Oh, that's what it looks like? Nice. You know, it's calcite. Yes, calcite. Is it? Oh, they do have calcite. It's one of the Minecraft down elements is calcite. They're so pretty. I mean, I have to admit, hands down, this exhibit is amazing. It has so many gems, so many minerals, and the kids and Sean and I absolutely loved it. So if you're ever in the area, definitely check this exhibit out. Heading up to the Egyptian exhibit. Are you excited, Noah? Now that you know where you're gonna be looking at, unlike when you were a little kid. The Egyptian one is up there. <laughs> it's Sean's favorite exhibit. We have some size for Part. 
This is devastating. Okay, let me elaborate a little bit on this devastation. Noah and I were so bummed out that the one thing that we were looking forward to seeing for so long was closed. And I get it, I completely understand that they have to do these things and you know they have to preserve them and all that stuff. But I checked in the website initially before we went and there was nothing about this. Now if you go in there, it does say it. But we weren't the only ones that were surprised when we got there and we were like, wait, what, it's closed? Um, this is not the first time we've been here. We've been here before. Last time we were in this museum, I think Noah was in first or second grade. We had gone to the exhibit. I've been to this exhibit numerous times because I've taken my sixth grade class in the past to go see this exhibit. The difference is that Noah now knew. He now appreciated these artifacts. So to him, it meant a lot when it was not there to be seen. The great thing is that they do have a place for you to go see these scientists doing the conservation. So you get to talk to them, you get to ask questions and all that fun jazz. 24,000 year old Dasher boat. I remember the boat. Oh yeah? yeah. Oh, look at all the pieces over there. Hey, look at the head bust. Over there, you see it? Let's see the aquarium store. We're gonna actually look at things that are moving. Well, the great thing is that we have the membership. So we can go as many times as we want this year. And then they have reciprocals to a bunch of other museums and art museums and science museums. So we will be able to go and see and scout out other areas. But we went over and saw the birds exhibit, which was pretty cool because Noah did spend a lot of time in fourth grade learning about birds. So to be able to see some of these beautiful birds up close and some of them who are even extinct is pretty awesome. We moved on to the exhibit on different indigenous people and this was pretty amazing as well. Definitely an area that we want to come and visit once again later on. Are you going to go fishing in it? Yeah. Does the paddle come off? This is my inspiration. We're gonna get a boat. What? This is my inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Then after that exhibit, we headed down to another one of our favorite exhibits and that is the dinosaur exhibit. This is just amazing. Can you imagine that these things were actually roaming on the earth? Look how giant these are. So the last time we were here was 2019 and these are just some pictures of the kiddos back then and they both fit in this footprint and so I wanted to see if they still fit and Noah still fit just in the fetal position I guess <laughs> and then May is probably just as big as Noah was back in 2019 so it's just super cute to see the contrast in there. This was our last exhibit we visited before heading on out for the day. We just finished at the museum. Baby, what did you think of the museum? Good. Good? A lot of cool stuff? Yeah. Noah, what did you think about the museum? There's no, there's no Egypt. I know, that was really bumming. I was really disappointed that, you know, the exhibit, that's like the main reason we came really 
um, was closed, but there was a lot of other things, and they'll open it again. Well, the good thing is we have the membership, so we can come back. Cinco hombres fritos. What? Cinco hombres fritos. Five guys fritos. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Cinco hombres fritos. <laughs> Translation. All in all, this was a fun field trip for us. Disappointing that they didn't have the Egyptian exhibit open, but I completely understand the need for the conservation and preservation of the artifacts. I'm wondering when is it that they will open it up again because it's definitely something that we want to visit. But the rest of the exhibits were available and open and super amazing. So we definitely are going to be going back again because like I mentioned before, we do have the membership and they also have like the art museum and then the R&D Warhol Museum and the Science Museum, all areas that we are definitely going to want to go check out next time we head out. So I want you guys to go ahead and share with me in the comments below what are some of the fun field trips that you enjoy taking with your family or that you are looking forward to making with your family. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.